that's what screws up. That's about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's what screws up. If you pull the front tub off of one of these motors, forward, you can lose this front thrust thrust washer. And it'll ruin your motor. So you want to have the yeah. pressure. You want to have the pressure. On. I don't know if I want to put that on. Well, actually, when you do these, you want the pressure, 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 pressure on it. That's why I've got it sat. <laughs> That's why I've got it sat on the back. Now, if you're going to do this in the car, you need the you need the clutch pedal pushed in. And that that's enough yeah, pressure to push it and forward. Doing, yeah, and if you're doing it with an automatic, then you you're just, taking your chances. You can just poke it with the stick. And yeah. Leave it on. Mm -hmm. People drive automatic. So yeah, I like that. This guy. Like that's the, the only way. trick. I tried to walk your fast in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, you got to leave. I'll, I'll show you when we get there. We're going to real steep down. We're going to draw it out with the press plate. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there's a tray. I'm sure you can find some on like. The watch person on the screen. You want to hold this? Just push it over the stick on the car. Stick against the seat. That's what I do. Yeah, you click it out a few clicks and put it against the pedal and put it against the seat. Oh my god. Oh man, that's total high five. The club. The club. No, to warm up the car in the morning. Oh yeah? It's perfect against the gas pedal the seat. That's a good use for it. I always pull the choke. Yeah, that's just me. I've got a choke with a car. Unless you got a storm card like me, there is no. Yeah, I don't have a choke anymore. So I just. Or you just have to feel the connection. What? What the hell is that? Do you want to prime the oil pump? I don't know what that is, man. Yeah, all these oil pumps aren't built to life. Sounds like I'll be doing this on my. You take this out and take a look at it. Some are shorter than others. The ones with the taller ones are the ones you want if you can find them. Uh, for instance, 86 and up, get a turbo oil pump, They're, they've got more more thickness to the gear so you get more volume. Kind of the same thing with these earlier ones. You get a GSS, what is it, GSS LE? GSL is a pump. No gasket? No gasket. And uh, you can get a better oil pump that way. So, no, it's just metal to metal on these. Can you use steel it if you'd like to? Would that be fine? I don't think that'd be fine, no. Actually, you want a nice machine that it actually works. Something to note Mazda has not got their act together on the front cover o ring. These, these little guys. I had asked Atkins about that too. Um, sometimes in the kit that they send you, they send you the wrong combination of parts. Uh, or the white cap on one and the newer ones. Chuck that one over your shoulder. You, you can use, you can use it. Yeah. You can use, you can use either one, but you got to make sure you get the right combination. You can use the white Teflon one, you can use none, and use the thin one that they send, and just use silicone sealer over it. Or you can use the gasket, but you got to make sure that when the when it's when the O-ring sits in there with the gasket on it, that you can see a little bit of the O-ring. If you put the short one on, it won't even touch. Because right. it'll just go right flat. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, and so I got to do that here real soon. Um, <coughs> See, I got the <coughs> one one on mine when I put it together, and it actually last week just failed. My oil pressure is about 35 right now. I don't know if anyone's hmm. seen the turn time video, but I think how what they actually did is machine it so this was flat here. Never so heard, uh, I've never heard of this. that. Never. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the but but shoot, everybody does things different. Yeah, things different. Their speakers are broken. Cut up, Brian. <laughs> you got a frog in here. Brian's quacking. Oh, let's see. I don't see. I don't see. I don't see a thrust plate here. Oh, maybe not. I wonder if I forgot the thrust plate. What is it? It's a metal, a metal shim. That's you don't have that size. Here. I don't remember picking one up. Do you? Yes. Whoops. John, you didn't forget an Apex seal, did you? <laughs> Forget it. Oh, no, I forgot it. Far more. Count your parts. 
Actually, when they turn, when they go to turn the board, you can check. Yeah, that would appear in the exhaust port. Well, that would suck that far. Crap. Yeah, he turned it over and I counted them. There was six. There was six. Alan, watch your shoulder a little bit. Okay. Oh, he turned it on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll sneak back over the other side. Turn in my car. Check all the apex seals. Well, I don't see one. I think I've forgotten it. Whoops. Um, what is going to happen? And that's where you stop. Yeah, that's where you stop. Um, what happens is you get this one in there first. This one has a chamfer on it to match the the radius on the eccentric shaft. That one goes on first. Next one goes on as your spacer, and these are all different sizes, um, depending on the thickness. This is how you set your end plate. I always use an X because I know that X has gives you the greatest amount of end plate, and I don't do a lot of measuring, so I know if I got an X, I got end plate. <laughs> no end plate is bad, so I like to have some. Uh, that's the way I get around it. Uh, Next thing that goes on is this, and you're going to want to lubricate it up with oil. Next goes on is our, our invisible thrust plate. Mm -hmm. Pretend it's there, it's this big around, it looks like a great big fat washer. Yeah. We could probably have one or two in the shed down there. Yeah, sure. Now, the bolts go in the thrust plate, right? You can't do anything with your motor at this point, because what happens, the motor moves, the washer goes like this and drops down and pinches that. Then when you tighten it up, you ruin that you ruin stuff. That, yeah. And when you run the motor, this self-destructs. That's what uh, okay. a lesion did. Right? So, so you see, this is only Three just times. a little bit. And the only way to do it is put <laughs> pressure on that. When you tighten this up, you leave it, you get it all tight, you get your chain in here on your oil pump. Put your front cover on and you put your pulley on. You put your pulley on with a new a new copper washer and you get it cranked down and it'll draw it up and pull it tight. Um, a lot of you guys might think that that taper on the flywheel has something to do with end plate. It has nothing to do with end plate. Um, it just floats back there. And uh, I wish I had the washer to show you, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take my word for it. If anybody <laughs> does it. Like you, are going to be doing it pretty yeah. quick. I even have parts for you if you need them or Ray. Oh, uh, our better on owner will be here tomorrow. I think. Okay. Hopefully. Um, have somebody here have somebody help or just just do what I said. Make sure you push that forward, and then you won't have any. Problems. Well, it comes down to it. Call you. Call yeah. Now. A little, a little trick. Sometimes when your car is all together before you start, you can put a breaker bar in and brace it against the front cross member, crank the starter to get that bolt loose. Because that oh, bolt gotcha. is locked tight and on, it's real hard to get on on and off out of the car unless you pull the radiator. So, we'll try to get it broke loose with the starter first. If that doesn't work, then it's not work. But you can change them in the car. It's just, make sure you get the right combination of O-rings and make sure you don't lose this last night, but we're going to get it today. Washer with the groove side towards the electric shaft. 